the ocean meets the forest in such a perfect way and it's as if they feed each other. It's just a very old, ancient feeling and it, it makes you feel human again. We are Cetacea Lab. And we are here because we want to protect this habitat for whales for generations to come. You know, we all know there's LNG projects that are planned for this area. There is a potential of ship strikes. There will be increased ocean noise. And yes, it's, it's a big concern for us. We arrived here in 2001. It appears it coincided with the return of the humpback whale. By the end of 2004, we had documented 42 individual humpback whales. At the end of the 2014 season, we had over 316 humpback whales that we had ID'd. Of all places on this planet, this is one place where a tanker just does not belong. No amount of money in this world could buy this coast. Yeah, I agree. They agree. The ravens agree. I feel everybody has to contribute something in some way and they have a purpose, they have a meaning. I felt I found mine when I met Herman and Janie. And that's the whales. That's the marine life. That's the protection. That's fighting for them, being their voice. That's my purpose in life. I'm really on the path I'm supposed to be on, without a doubt. I will protect whales for my entire life. It's an excitement that, that will never go away, and that's, that's, that's why we're here. That's, that's part of the passion of the job. You can have all the money in the world, but if you can't drink your water, if you can't eat your food, it doesn't matter. As long as we keep thinking of this planet as just a resource, we've lost the full picture because that resource is what provides us with our ability to thrive as a species ourselves. At some point we have to give back, at some point we have to recognize that we need to take parts of this planet and it needs to be protected. If you experience this place, you will be driven to protect this place.